even sometimes medium wealthy countries have eradicated and done away with all of these diseases. Perhaps the only one that we would still remember some of us would be malaria. And we haven't had it in a long time, since the 1940s. But it still exists. So hundreds of millions of people every year suffer from these diseases that should be eradicated or eliminated. And that's what we do most of the time. Now, as was mentioned in the film, our most highly uh, publicized effort has been to eradicate the disease of guinea worm, which is caused, as you well know if you come to the Carter Center more than once, <laughs> to drink of impure water that has the eggs in it, and it goes to a long worm about 30 inches long. It takes about 30 days to emerge from the body, and it's excruciatingly painful. It causes the loss of muscle tissue, like the aftermath of polio. And the people who have it, if they are school age, can't go to school, and farmers can't go to the field. So it's a devastating economic and social blow as well as suffering intensely. We started out with about 3.5 million cases of guinea worm in 20 countries in Asia and in Africa. I think 26,000 villages. We've now been in all the villages. And we've cut that 3.6 million down. This year we expect to have not more than about 1,000 cases in the whole world. Last year, Ghana became free after 23 years. Uh, they started out with 126,600 cases, now they have zero cases. This year,